Welcome, Grace and friends, as we gather on what is, according to the calendar, Palm Sunday. Just a reminder during these announcements that we'll be celebrating on our first Sunday back as a gathered community, starting with Palm Sunday. Today, we will continue with our time in Lent. Also a reminder that each noontime, Monday through Saturday, we will have noontime prayer, as well as continuing our midweek Lenten services at 6.30. With that said, we prepare ourselves to enter into worship as we listen to our gathering song. Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Please join me in singing a song of praise to God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, Lord God, in preparing the way of your only Son. By his coming, strengthen us to serve you with purified lives through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading for today comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, beginning at verse 1. Isaiah writes, Comfort, comfort, O my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term and that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sin. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain shall be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out, and I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their consistency is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good things. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep. Here ends the reading of the first lesson. Our psalm litany for today is from Psalm 85. I will read the first and every other verse, and I ask you to join Jody in reading the even-numbered verses. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You pardoned all their sin. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go on before him and will make a path for his steps. And finally, our gospel reading for today is from Matthew chapter 12, beginning at verse 15. Many crowds followed Jesus, and he cured all of them, and he ordered them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I have chosen my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not wrangle or cry aloud, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. He will not break a bruised reed or quench a smoldering wick until he brings justice to victory. And in his name, the Gentiles will hope. Here ends the reading of the gospel. Thanks be to God. Grace and friends, welcome as we gather around the word of the Lord. This is a strange time in a familiar land. The Jews in the time of Isaiah were in a strange land and in a strange time. What kind of similarities do we see at all between this reading from the prophet Isaiah and the time in which we find ourselves? Where do we find hope for this time? As I look at the scripture for today, 
It talks about preparing the way of the Lord that Isaiah was speaking about to the Jews who found themselves in exile in Babylon. They had been living in this foreign land captives, not simply in their own homes, but captives in a foreign land. And after 70 years, Isaiah began to speak a word of prophecy, a word of hope to them, that God was preparing the way for the Lord and for the people to return home, a homecoming, a future where they could return back to life as they knew it, the life that had filled them with much joy. We too find ourselves in a strange time but yet we find ourselves in our common homes. While our routines and rituals have been upended, even in terms of the church by needing to worship online, the days will come when life will return and we will find ourselves once again rebuilding routines. We'll see ourselves finding work once again. We will find ourselves being able to regather as a community to worship God. In the meantime, we find this word of hope in Isaiah, which tells us that God is still at work in our midst. As we heard in the gospel reading from Matthew chapter 12, God was even speaking about how Jesus was the fulfillment of what Isaiah had been speaking about. God had sent John the Baptist to prepare that way, and then Jesus the fulfiller came. He is our light in the darkness. He is our hope in the midst of despair. So my friends, let us not lose hope, but rather listen to the words of Isaiah and let us cry out like the psalmist said in Psalm, Psalm 86, to cry out to the Lord that we may know with confidence that God hears our cry and that God is indeed answering. So let us continue to dare to believe. Let us live in that faith. Let us encourage each other and let us lift each other up as well as those who put their lives on the line every day for the sake of the health and the well-being of our community and the community scattered throughout the world. God is ultimately in control. And for that, we place our faith. Amen. Let us join together in affirming our faith in God in and through the words of the Apostles' Creed. Join with me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I want to pause and thank all of you who have been making online gifts uh, continuing to support the ministry and work of Grace Church. And those of you who have continued to send in your offerings to Grace. That, has, that enables us to continue on. And at this time, we pause to offer our lives to God as this portion of our service is our offering time.
vessel that needs to be filled. My Lord, fill it. I am weak in the faith. Strengthen me. I am cold in love. Warm me and make me fervent, that my love may go out into my neighbor. I do not have a strong and firm faith. At times I doubt and am unable to trust you altogether. O oh Lord, help me. Strengthen my faith and trust in you. In you I, I have sealed the treasure of all I have. I am poor, you are rich, and came to be merciful to the poor. I am a sinner, you are upright. With me there is an abundance of sin. In you is the fullness of righteousness. Therefore I remain with you of whom I can receive but to whom I may not give. Amen. We join now in praying together as our Lord taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and fill you with his peace. Amen. We conclude now with our sending song. invite you to sing this song this morning. It's a song of hope. It's a song of God's love. 